Okay, experiment time. What you see here represents around 15 pounds of processing of Jason's ore. Okay, this is the ferrous material, assuming to be pyrite. Okay, we're going to put this stuff in the, uh, uh, in the oven, going to dry it out. We're going to lay the nitric acid to it. We're going to see if gold is locked up in this material. All right, this is dried 10 grams of pyrite of some sort. All right, I don't know why we dried the stuff. We just had to put it in the, uh, we had to put it in distilled water anyways. I don't know why we dried those, uh, uh, those pyrites out. Anyways, we added five more grams. So we've got 15 grams total of the pyrite material. What we're gonna do is just a chemical test. And the chemical test is gonna be simple. We're going to lay nitric acid to this. The iron material, the uh, you know, will be uh, dissolved by the nitric acid. Okay, and the silver and the gold and the platinum group uh, uh, materials, metals uh, will be left over. Okay, this is going to be a little yeah, tricky to do, I think. So basically, we're just going to lay the nitric to it, see what's left over, put that in aqua regia, and do a test for gold, and that's it. All right, there. Well, the guy with the white precipitate had me puzzled, and the, the nitric is uh, uh, producing some uh, in extreme nitrogen dioxide gas production, which I expected now that it's probably interacting with the iron more than anything. But the white precipitate came and went, almost had like a pink hue there when I added the nitric. All this is just very small scale stuff, so that, you know, it's not dangerous unless you had your face right over it, but. You have to be careful when you do this. You don't know what's in those. Uh, I had asked uh, someone from uh, uh, Mount Baker Mine and Metals, I think. I keep getting the metals and the minerals mixed up. I mean, no disrespect. If anybody from there is watching these videos, which I highly doubt. But I asked the question if there was any arsenic or cadmium or nickel. Uh, any of those products in their ore and they had no knowledge that there was any, any of those chemicals present But you could have all kinds of nasty stuff Okay, and in, uh, in gold ore so be very careful if you do experiments like this. All right, really interesting uh, Little deal here now this is if you can see that This of course is the uh, uh, The nitrate solution iron I'm sure this is the washes okay and distilled water and this right here just looks like a I don't know granite lime some kind of rock who knows what's in that okay there's definitely gonna be some nasties in there okay probably a little bit of arsenic uh, who knows what's in that uh, some nickel cadmium copper well copper's gone I don't know if nickels dissolved with a uh, uh, nitric acid or not cadmium I have no idea but I know gold isn't. So, we're going to test, uh, put this in aqua regia. And I'm going to try to put this in aqua regia. Because it's so dense, I highly doubt that is gold. This is the finely divided material that uh, came off the wash. That really intrigued me. I don't expect any positive uh, uh, results. To be honest with you. All right, our sample number one. We'll go ahead and uh, get sample number two. This stuff, which I'm not too keen on messing with. We're gonna get this stuff deleted because uh, who knows what's in this stuff. We're gonna get it diluted and uh, done away with the proper way as quickly as humanly possible. This is going to do us no good because of the color of the solution. So that one's a bust. It may have to settle, but we'll go ahead and check this solution. I don't expect a positive result in any of these. So one and two. That solution may have to settle. All right, we tried to get a good clean sample but it was almost impossible. But 
I don't know if it's showing up on camera or not. That's a little purple beside of the yellow stuff, whatever the stuff is. I'm being very careful with it. And that also turned a little blue. Now, both the first, this sample and this sample both are negative for precious metals in solution. But this sample that we cooked in hydrochloric for a while and then added the nitric, which reacted violently with whatever's in this material. This material, right on the edges around that yolk looking yellow stuff in the middle is a little purple. And that one definitely is. It may actually start, may actually show up on camera. Regardless, we may have a little bit of gold wrapped up in these pyrites. So, I'm going to have to roast them, okay? Uh, I'm going to have to really get them good and hot. And I can do that. I just hate the smell. It smells like sulfur. Nasty. Blech. All right, anyways, this was a successful test. It was inconclusive, but I'm calling that that there is a little gold in this. That's what I'm calling, so that's what I'm seeing. Now, is it 100%? No. It just wor It just tells me that maybe actually when I'm selected or uh, uh, I'm dividing out the magnetic material, okay, the pyrites and stuff like that, to save that material, roast that material, and maybe try to smelt, maybe try to cupel it, stick it in a cupel, see what happens. But I don't know. All in all, it's pretty clean material. Except this right here looks a little purple on the edges to me. And that looks a little blue. Yes, it do. All right, we go. All right, we're going to take the material, okay, that uh, went through the hydrochloric. And, well, we tried to put it in aqua regia. Whatever this was. Whatever this is. And the results were inconclusive. There's such little nitric in this. If there was precious metals, it fell out of solution. I can about guarantee you that. So we're going to take this material that's at the bottom of this. And we're going to stick it in a coupel. And uh, see if we have a little metal bead with some lead collector metal. And uh, let's see if uh, we have a little metal bead in the bottom of it. All right. The, I, I got to give, give a disclaimer here. Now, I'm not professing that this is the correct way to do this because it's not. This is not the right crucible or container, whatever you want to call it. This is not the right, um, I guess, mix of flux. It's just borax. Okay, this is uh, not smelting. Okay, see, I'm trying to do, uh, I'm not equipped for smelting. So, basically what I'm doing is just a shot in the dark to see... <laughs> What's left over it is if I could pick out a gold bead if it concentrates enough by putting a little lead in it. Okay, and really flying by the seat of my pants here just doing an experiment. But I'm not professing that this is the correct way to do this because it is not the correct way to do it. Basically, it's half entertainment and half just my curiosity to see what's what's in there once I'm done. Do I expect all this to be gone and a little bead in the center? No, absolutely not. I expect a big garbled mess. Some of it to be gone, but maybe seeing some, maybe evidence of gold beads floating around, maybe. Basically, uh, I don't expect to see anything but a big garbled up mess in here. That's honestly what I expect to see, and with no result whatsoever. All right, there's a tiny little bead of gold, and I've seen two more in this coupel. I did not expect that. So that means there is... Gold locked up in the pyrites. Now, that's I guess that's not uncommon. Like I said, I'm not an expert. Okay, I'm assuming that's not uncommon. And uh, that little tiny gold bead right there tells me that there's gold in those pyrites, and I have to figure out how to get that gold out. And again, I did not expect this, but I took the coupel, I crushed it up, and then I panned it out. And actually, a picker, a gold piece, a gold piece big enough where I could pick it up, <laughs> maybe with a pair of tweezers but the point is is it's there so wow that's that's insane I had a message pop up there kind of knocked me off track but that's not big enough to weigh but that little gold bead I thought was hiding in that slag and it was okay uh, combined uh, you know the, the other gold beads I saw one little bitty one you know hits down here in the mush somewhere but that big one constitutes a lot of gold 
that is locked up in those pyrites. 